Hello, my name is Kim Miller and I'm from Woman at the Well Ministries and I'm excited that we get to spend the next few moments together studying his word. I'm excited that we're studying about believing and believing is so important that it's all through the scriptures and today we're going to look at the idea of believing in John chapter 1 verse 12. Let me read that in your hearing. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Our angel gram today is entitled, Believing Unto Power. But I wanna stop for just a moment and make sure that we are comforted by those words and understand that when we become a Christian by believing in the only begotten Son of God, that we are part of the family of God. And so we're no longer alone. Not only does the Holy Spirit dwell within us to comfort us, to lead us, to guide us, and to bring to remembrance all those things that we have need of, but we also are adopted into the family of God and we have brothers and sisters in Christ. Today's angelgram has special meaning to me. A little friend of mine got saved not too long ago and he was only six years old and, and been friends with him his whole life. But now he says, brother and sister and he says I'm your brother and he'll say sister Kim and it's amazing because he understands at such a young age that inclusiveness of God. God wants all of us to be saved and when we become a Christian he wants all of us to act as a family because it's the love of God that draws us to God. It's the love of God that he gives us that allows us to have that relationship with him. And that's the love of God that he wants us to give to others that we would walk and talk in the ways that he would have us to walk and talk. The love of God is real. And it's not just for us, it's for us to share. And today we understand that as we become part of the family of God. I'd like to begin our angel Graham reading with Good morning. Today is a glorious day that God has made for you. He has prepared a job for you to do. He will make a way for you to give his words to an audience that needs them. Souls are in the balance. Speak with confidence when you're speaking with his words. There is power, mighty power. The day is not yours to live as you see fit. The day is yours to live as he has requested you to live. And he has a plan for you, and if you walk in that plan, somebody's day is gonna be a little brighter. Somebody's gonna be a little happier. Somebody's gonna be glad they heard you because you are gonna make a difference. The scripture again reads this in John chapter one, verse 12. But as many as received him, that's those who've given them their lives to Christ, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. He adopted us into that family, even to them that believe on his name. The power of belief is un unreal. When we believe, all things are possible. No greater gift will you ever receive than the adoption into the family of God. He chooses everyone and he opens his love and his wealth to all. What does he ask in return? He asks that you believe in him and receive him as your savior. What does loving him get you? It gets you admission into his family and all the rights and honor of being one of his children. You have power that is limitless. You have love that is unconditional and permanent. You have a home not made with hands eternal into the heavens. With Jesus, you have it all. Believe and receive. Our angel to angel chat, wow. What a deal. You believe and then you receive. He is just waiting to bless you and give you all that he has in store for you. Don't ever doubt even for a minute that he loves you or that he wants what is best for you. He said it and that makes it so. Believe so that others may believe and receive too. Remember God loves you. You are loved. Our key thought for the day, you are royalty. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for saving our souls. Thank you for filling the gap in our hearts that none other could feel. Thank you, dear Heavenly Father, for ridding us of that longing, that need to belong, because when we become part of you, Lord, we become part of the family of God, and we belong to the greatest family on earth. 
We belong to the one, to Heavenly Father, that is, you're the Father. We belong to Heavenly Father to you and those around us are our brothers and sisters and we no longer walk alone, but we walk with you in our hearts and we have your voice inside of us, teaching us, leading us, and guiding us. This world is not our home. We're just pilgrims passing through and you allow us to Heavenly Father to have all the joys and the blessings of inclusiveness of being part of the family of God and having the power that is limitless according to the faith that is within us. And I pray to our Heavenly Father that you would watch over us and protect us, lead God and direct us and stir within us the love that you have given us that we may share it to others, that they may come to know you as their personal savior. Lord, we love you and we praise you and we thank you in Jesus' name. And all of God's people said, amen.